Hey guys, Dave Anderson here, Heli Cools Helipad. Hey, today we're gonna to be working on the bug again. It is pretty epic build so far. This is, believe it or not, part five. Right on, part five. Um, so what happens to a battery when, especially a lead acid battery, when you continually kill it all the way down to zero? Well, you could do it maybe once, twice, three times, four times. But you know what? Eventually, you're gonna kill that battery. It will be dead. You can put it on a charger, you can bring it back to life, but it will never be as good as what it was before. It will continually discharge and it, 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 you've just basically smoked that battery. You just can't do it. So let me show you a little issue that this thing still has and I'll also show you how to fix it. So here's the problem. You'll need to listen up closely. You hear that buzzing? Okay, that is a relay that has not released. I'm gonna pull the power off of the positive battery side. There it goes off. Bad relay. So as you can hear by that, I've got a bad relay. The relay is actually sticking and holding that contact together. It drains the battery slowly over time until it is completely zero, it is dead. So what I need to do is grab some relays, pull the relays out of here, stick them into the new bug, and let's see if I can't correct that problem. It is so nice I have a, a, a car that I can tear into and not worrying about breaking anything. So this is what I am after. Okay, right there. So those are the relays right up in here. And I need to pull those out and start to changing out the relays in the other bug that I'm trying to fix up. Hopefully that'll cure it. That looks like all of them. I don't know what the heck this is, but I'm gonna pull it out too. Maybe a switch. All right, so a little bit more research later, and I find out that that buzzing sound is not the fuel pump. It's actually an auxiliary electric water pump. Now, this is designed to pump fluid through the turbo to cool it down for 10 to 15 minutes after it has the engine has been shut off. It's to protect the um, turbo. The problem is, and I see a lot of people having the same issue, is the thing just doesn't want to turn off and it drains the battery down to zero. Um, that's a problem. What people have kind of figured out is that thing is controlled by the fan controller, which I believe is, one second. This is very convenient that this is all pulled away because that's the part right there. Two 10 millimeter bolts unscrew those and take the two connectors off the bottom and I have a spare. That'll work temporarily until I can buy a new one. Wow, this thing looks horrible. It is filthy, but the important part is, is it's very nice and clean inside. Now to get that one out, which is buried underneath the battery and all that other stuff. Yay.
Okay, once you get it loose, you can kind of snake it on down here. These are on there pretty tight. So I'm going to use this screwdriver to kind of pry it up just a little bit at a time. That is one side right there. Okay, we're good. Other side. Now, let's pull this down. There. All right. It is out. Well, lo and behold, this will not work. It will not fit. It's a different part number. This is the first part number, or first part, that has not worked from one bug to the other. Well, it looks like I'm gonna just have to order another one anyway. Well, you definitely wanna make sure that it's clean when you put your awesomeness, brand new WeatherTech uh, floor protector in there. Um, I think this is gonna be a very good investment because, uh, well, the old one was trashed. And uh, although these are um, on the expensive side, uh, it definitely, I think, is going to be worth it, especially since my son is going to be in Pullman, Washington, where there's going to be a lot of snow. So this is a really good investment. Snaps into place just like a champ. Yep, beautiful. That is going to last for the life of this car and then some. All right, get another one to put in. Nice. Public service announcement. Do not put Armor All on leather seats. Only use Lexol. Yes, this is a leather conditioner. Normal Armor All will dry the seats out and make them crack and brittle. You don't want to do that. Do yourself a favor. Use Lexol. This is not a paid advertisement, by the way. I just am into making leather wallets and belts and have been for years and years. I know it works. You can find this at Tandy, I am quite certain, or heck, even most of your retail outlets. And this is what happens when you just use Armor All. Of course, these seats are a little filthy. But when you just use Armor All, cracks and dries out the seats. It's not good. All right, guys. It takes a Phillips screwdriver. And uh, yeah, they're in right inside here. So inside these little pockets, one Phillips um, screw. And then the rest of it are just little clips. You just pull it down gently and this thing will come out. What I found inside here was one of these that, that holds this motor on was just laying down in this pan. So obviously it had fallen out. One of those bolts was actually in, the other one was loose. And there's been several others that are in here that are also loose. Um, I'm not sure if somebody just forgot to torque these down at the plant or if someone's been in here. It really doesn't look like someone's been in here, but you know what? Anything is possible. What I'm going to do is leave this bracket down and just to kind of see if I drive it around, if me putting those bolts back into place does anything or if it still needs some kind of adjustment. While I was also at it, I was able to salvage another tail light out of the silver bug. Uh, you know, this one, it's it still is okay. It's not cracked or anything, but they tried to smash it in and they broke half of these little catch pins off. And uh, it kind of rattles around in there now. So, and there's also, this one is kind of burnt and it broke off of this part here. So yeah, it's kind of seen better days. 
This one's nice, doesn't have any problems, any issues. Both the connectors are on it. I like it. Note to self, don't let that doggone little screw thing fall down into the bumper. This test drive is brought to you by Bloody Knuckle Tools. Yes, Bloody Knuckle Tools, available at all Kowalski swap meets. For the best in Bloody Knuckle Tools, make sure that it has the Made in China label. Because we all know that everything made in China is high quality. Well, yeah, it's on order. It should be in on Saturday. So really can't do anything with that. Um, I've at least pulled apart what I can with the hatchback. So yeah, that's going to have to wait till next time too. Because I try to keep this right around 10 minutes so that you guys will have no problem watching it and coming back next time. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe. I've got a lot more stuff to do here and it's going to have to be done pretty quick because my son is going off to college here within, oh, just a just a few short weeks just a few short weeks away i'm starting to panic because i don't have everything done but until next time i'm dave anderson signing out you guys be safe out there and god bless